Hi, I'm Judy Alexander, and I was invited to be part of the leadership team for Community Build uh, at the very beginning in September of 2020. And I was asked specifically to have the role of engaging the community in the project we were doing to build shelters. I was thinking that my community engagement part was to uh, get the public involved in building community for those without shelter and we were gonna build shelter villages, but it didn't take me very long to realize that we were building community for all of us. Everyone that got involved was getting into connecting with each other and excited to be out of our um, home isolation because of COVID, because we could do our uh, volunteerism outside, building these shelters. And for me, the Community Build Project, uh, which is now a nonprofit of its own, uh, has always been about building connection and cultivating compassion and that's exactly what we do. What I've seen over the two and a half years since we started is that people just want to jump in and contribute and give and offer their gifts and their talents and it's just such a feel-good project. I wish every community had a community build. I feel really fortunate to have the volunteers that we have in our community but I kind of believe that people like this community are all over the place. So community build should be everywhere. Yeah, so a group of citizens were kind of worried about the homeless population this winter and we don't want to see people left out cold. So um, we mobilized and decided to build some structures. And I was sitting day, one day with a friend, my friend Samuel, and we came up with this idea of getting the community involved, these teams together, and building units to kind of, in one part, to get one step closer to having a tiny house village, or, and two, to get people, get the community kind of inspired and involved with making that happen. So it's it's been a real blessing, and we have four units right here. We have three painted, and the community is really showing up, and the organizers, thanks to Peter and all his work, have done a great job in getting this going and we're still going. As a general contractor, having years of experience, I've been able to lead the volunteers and sometimes volunteers show up with varying levels of experience in building and it's a learning experience for them and that's been a beautiful thing that they are gaining besides giving, giving to people that are in need. Um, there's this experience of us being in a sharing information relationship that feels good to me as you know, someone who's been at it for a long time. I enjoy being in that teaching role and helping people learn new things. You know, this project is a whole bunch of you know people that have incredible carpentry skills and building uh, experience, and they're just here, willing to just you know offer out advice and help and guidance as far as you know how to just put together stuff. And it's just it's really cool, and uh, they just offer all the tools, all their expertise. Hi, I'm Jean Holtz. I'm a member of Community United Methodist Church here in Port Hadlock. From the beginning, I would say um, all of my interactions with the folks at uh, Peter's Place have been very positive, very enriching, and I've come to know a number of them uh, personally. I visit with them almost, some of them almost weekly. We see the people at Peter's Place, the South Seven Village, as our brothers and sisters. They're not the unfortunate poor or those homeless people. They are our neighbors. Uh, my name is Jean Schubert, and I'm a member of a Peace Lutheran Fellowship in Port Ludlow. Uh, my interactions uh, with the people at Peter's Place has been truly rewarding. 
I'm, I'm warmed of heart and, and, and spirit when I go home. I am so glad that Peter's Place is here. I am so thrilled that is happening and is happening uh, in, in Port Townsend as well. And uh, it makes a difference. Oh, just well, I've been there about three weeks. I just got in on the second half of the build. I remember you were here when we put up the tent. Yeah, yeah. So what keeps you coming back? Oh, just waking up, knowing there's somebody my age who's waking up in a wet sleeping bag. It's it's 12 houses out of 200 people that need help, but it's a start. I just want to say to the, uh, to the community and everything, what this means to me and my wife, it helps us out so much. We Now we have a, a way to get up off our feet and do something with our lives. You guys are wonderful. I can't, me and my wife can't thank you enough. I'm never, I'm, I'm a prideful person for me. I can't take a hand out. It's hard for me to take a hand up, but this is beautiful. And it's like big old weight. It took it off our shoulders. Now we can, now we can get it somewhere in our life. I just want to thank you guys very much. Well, a lot has happened here at Castle Brown Village in even just the last two weeks. Uh, more people have moved into their tiny houses and uh, they are extremely happy. Um, some of the comments that I'm getting from some of them are, quote, I have had the best sleep I've had ever. And they say that with their voice cracking and uh, near tears in their eyes. They said that I have no idea what it was like where they would constantly all through the night have to turn and keep turning because they couldn't get comfortable. And one morning after one morning, only one morning after waking up here in a tiny house, they said, I didn't move all night, so when I got up, I actually felt stiff, and it was a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of the leadership team, we want to thank all the volunteers and donors who have made Community Build successful. Thank you. We, we are, are building tiny shelters for our unsheltered neighbors. Join us!